High blood pressure or hypertension is often referred to as the silent killer. This condition, characterized by consistently elevated pressure in the arteries, often develops without any symptoms. The problem is because you can't feel high blood pressure, you might ignore it. You don't go to the doctor and this might end to be a catastrophic event leading to serious complications like heart attacks, strokes, and kidney failure. Understanding its causes is essential for prevention and management. In this video, we look at the five medical causes of high blood pressure you should know about. Coming up. I'm Dr. John, both certified in internal medicine as well as geriatric medicine. And this channel is here to promote your health and your well-being. Think your health. What is high blood pressure? Before exploring its causes, let's understand what high blood pressure means. Blood pressure measures the force exerted by circulating blood on the walls of blood vessels. It is recorded as two numbers. Systolic blood pressure, which is the upper number, the force when the heart pumps blood into the arteries, and diastolic pressure, which is the lower number, the force when the heart rests between the beats. A normal blood pressure reading is around 120 to 80. Hypertension occurs when this pressure consistently exceeds 130 over 80. Over time, elevated blood pressure damages blood vessels and organs, increasing the risk of serious health issues. So what are the medical causes of high blood pressure? Family history plays a significant role in hypertension. If close relatives such as parents or siblings have high blood pressure, your risk increases. Genetic predisposition may influence how your body regulates sodium, fluid balance, and vascular tone, all critical factors in maintaining normal blood pressure. While you cannot change your genes, understanding your family history can help you take early preventive steps such as regular monitoring and lifestyle adjustments. Number two, diet and nutrition. What you eat directly affects your blood pressure. Poor dietary habits are among the most common causes of hypertension. High salt intake leads to water retention, increasing blood volume, and consequently, blood pressure. Processed foods, fast foods, and salty snacks are major culprits. Potassium helps balance sodium in the body. A diet lacking in fruits and vegetables, which are rich in potassium, can disrupt this balance. Next is unhealthy fats. Diets high in saturated and trans fats contribute to arterial stiffness and blockages, raising blood pressure over time. Incorporating a balanced diet rich in fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats can significantly reduce a hypertension risk. Look at your life factors. Your day-to-day -day habits play a pivotal role in blood pressure regulation. Key lifestyle factors include physical inactivity, especially a sedentary lifestyle weakens the heart and circulatory system, making it harder for the heart to pump blood efficiently. The strain can elevate blood pressure. Chronic stress causes the body to release stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones temporarily spike blood pressure and over time may lead to chronic hypertension. And drinking excessive alcohol increases increases blood pressure by altering the heart's rhythm and promoting weight gain. Smoking nicotine constricts the blood vessels, leading to increased resistance and blood flow and higher blood pressure. Adopting healthier habits like regular exercise, stress management techniques, and limiting alcohol intake can help maintain normal blood pressure levels. And if you're interested in a video on how to lower your blood pressure without medications, click right here. What about underlying health conditions? You know, several medical conditions can directly cause or contribute to high blood pressure. These include kidney disease. The kidneys play a crucial role in regulating blood pressure for controlling fluid and electrolyte balance. Damaged kidneys may fail to remove excess fluid, causing hypertension. And then there's diabetes. High blood sugars damages blood vessels, making them less flexible and more prone to narrowing. Additionally, diabetes can harm the kidneys, exacerbate blood pressure, issues. Sleep apnea is another condition that can cause breathing to repeatedly stop and start during sleep, stressing the cardiovascular system. Sleep apnea triggers the release of stress hormones which raise blood pressure both during the night and throughout the day. Regular medical checkups and managing these conditions effectively can reduce their impact on blood pressure. So hormones regulate numerous bodily functions including blood pressure. When hormonal systems are disrupted, hypertension can result. Common hormonal causes include thyroid disorders. Both anorective hypothyroidism and overactive hyperthyroidism, thyroid glands can lead to high blood pressure. Hypothyroidism stiffens the blood vessel walls, while hyperthyroidism increases 
increases the heart rate and cardiac output. And the adrenal gland issue, the adrenal glands produce hormones like aldosterone and cortisol. Conditions such as Cushing syndrome, excess cortisol or Con syndrome, excess aldosterone can elevate blood pressure by increasing sodium retention and fluid volume. Fear chromosotoma, this rare tumor of the adrenal glands causes the release of excess adrenaline and noradrenaline and hormones that sharply increase blood pressure. Hormonal imbalances are often diagnosed through blood tests and imaging studies and treatments typically involve medication, lifestyle changes or even surgery. What are other contributing factors? Age. You can control age. Blood pressure tends to rise with age due to natural stiffening and arteries and changes in hormonal balance. Some over-the-counter uh, medications and prescription medications such as NSAIDs, examples are uh, Motrin or Ibuprofen, decongestants and certain antidepressants can help elevate blood pressure. Then there's obesity. Excess weight places additional strain on the heart and blood vessels making hypertension more likely. Although some risk factors like genetics and age are beyond our control, there are several actionable steps to prevent or manage high blood pressure. Number one, adopt a heart healthy diet. Emphasize the DASH diet or dietary approaches to hypertension diet, which focuses on reducing sodium and increasing potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Limit processed foods, sugary drinks, and red meat. Stay physically active. Engage in at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity per week, such as walking, swimming, or cycling. And manage your stress. Practice relaxation techniques like deep breathing, yoga, or meditation. And set aside time for hobbies and activities that bring you joy and monitor your blood pressure. Use at home monitors to track readings regularly and consult your doctor for personalized advice if you notice consistent elevation. And quit smoking and limit alcohol. Seek support if needed to stop smoking and limit alcohol intake to one drink per day for women and two for men. And if you have, and if you've reached this far in this video, thank you for staying so loyal. So I'll give you a bonus tip. Write this down as this bonus tip will look at the one of the most overlooked causes of high blood pressure, which is chronic stress. While physical factors like diet, weight, and activity levels are well-known contributors, the impact of stress on blood pressure often flies under the radar. And here's why. When you're stressed, your body releases hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones temporarily increase your heart rate and constrict blood vessels, elevating blood pressure. So the long-term effects of chronic stress can lead to unhealthy coping mechanisms such as poor diet, lack of exercise, or increased alcohol consumption, which further exacerbate hypertension. While stress might not directly cause permanent hypertension in all cases, its indirect effects make it a significant yet overlooked contributor to elevated blood pressure. And if you're interested in other videos, click right here or click right here. I'm Dr. John. This is Think Your Health and thank you for watching. Have a good day.